Hello, everybody. So Sam was busy. And um, today's recipe that I'm going to be showing you is uh, the recipe to make butter, butternut squash and feta tartlets. Um, I actually improvised this recipe uh, because I thought it would all taste nice together. But I'm sure there are lots of recipes similar to this online. Um, I'm using butternut squash just because it's what I had handy in my garden. And, uh, but you can also use pumpkin, um, any, sort of, any sort of kind of pumpkin I think would work perfectly for this recipe. So, for the, um, for the butternut squash it's got quite a hard skin around the outside, it's actually really quite difficult to cut. So, uh, you need quite a, a strong knife and a heavy hand. So, it perhaps doesn't look that relaxing when you're cutting into it. So yes, yeah, so you take off all of the skin and the exterior and then you're just left with the uh, solid interior. This is a great little recipe for this time of year. Halloween was last night and so most houses have quite a lot of pumpkins around the place um, and instead of just letting them sort of rot thrown out into the garbage. This is quite a nice way of using everything up. Now we've taken some of the, the hard outer skin off of the uh, off of the fruit. We chop it up into sort of small pieces. You don't need to be very careful about what size the pieces are. It doesn't really matter because once they're uh, hard and roasted, you're actually going to sort of mess them up a bit. So. Yeah, no need to worry about the size. Just get them roughly the same size so that they're all roast at the same time.
I'm not going to take any um, baking tray. Just do a normal standard baking tray. I'm going to put some olive oil in it. I can use any olive oil, but because I live in the south of France, obviously, I use that kind of oil. That's what's going on there. And then we're going to season the olive oil with salt and pepper. If you want to, you could add some herbs to this, um, but I don't. It doesn't really need it. And then into the we place our pieces. Squash, I think. Come to think of it, even um, sweet potato would be good. For the kiwi listeners, sweet potato is quinoa. So now we're going to uh, put these into the oven about 180 degrees for as long as it takes for them to cook really half an hour um, should be enough and while we're waiting for these to cook we can start cutting out our pastry you can make your own pastry you can have as Jane Oliver says it's life's too short and uh, it's just much easier to buy pre-rolled but I quite like a shortcut So you're going to need some of the baking dishes, uh, sort of round ones. And then we're going to cut a centimetre from the outside edge around. I'm just going to make a lip of our tartlet. You could make these any size really. I'm using this as a as a sort of vegetarian main this evening. Um, but you can make mini ones for uh, for dinner parties, and little snacks and hors d'oeuvres, or you can make one big one and then slice it into your preferred uh, portion size. Let's get that when it's finished. Now our pumpkins are roasted. Slightly burnt wine there. Not over keen. I'm going to put them into just a normal mixing bowl. is just some uh, feta cheese, which is sheep's cheese, um, and comes in quite a good little box actually. You can buy it already cubed, but this sort of plastic container is perfect for cutting. 
but I think it hurt a little bit sad you went it. So we're going to want some bigger cubes again, but it doesn't really matter again about size because we are going to sort of smash the whole mix together. It's time for the onion. I like to use red onion as much as I can in cooking. Um, it's got a much softer flavour to it than white onions. Um, so we're going to want to slice this and we want these pieces quite small. As small as you can be bothered to do them really. I don't want too much onion in the mixture because it's going to be quite an overpowering flavour. But it works perfectly with the cheese and with the pumpkin or squash. We're going to put our um, frying pan on to a, quite a high heat to start with and then we're going to reduce the heat once we've added the onions. So we're going to put a little bit of olive oil in the pan. Then in go our chopped onions. Once these start to uh, fix, and we can reduce the temperature because we want them to be sort of translucent and gooey, not crispy. Now our onions are nicely cooked. I'll take them down and let them cool off for a couple of minutes. And we're going to start to mash up the squash somewhat. It doesn't have to be perfectly all mashed up. We still want there to be morsels and bits and pieces.
little add of butter cheese. Depends how much you want to use, it depends how big a fan you are of the, any of the ingredients as to what your amounts are that you want to use, but it's all very improvised. It's a very simple recipe. Now we go our lovely onions. We'll make the celery and together. Now we're going to fill our little pastry pie dishes with our filling. It should be filled to the top. It's quite nice to have the bit deep. Give it a press down so you can fit more in. We're going to take the outer edge of the pastry and you fold it and roll it in to make a nice sort of frosted edge. I'm sure there are prettier ways of doing this, but I'm quite rustic. I'm going to put them in the oven at 180 and leave until when you think they're cooked really, when the pastry is cooked. And then I just like to serve it with some green salad. Enjoy!